Hi guys, welcome to TCR. Today, we went and got some chickens, some baby chicks. And we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the things that you need in order to raise them. Chicken in a box? Yeah. Except they're not the ones that we keep. Okay. Alright guys, so we just got home from Elston's with our box of baby birds. So let's go get them set up in the brooder. Five barred rocks and two white almonds. Little barred rock. Yes, I know. Come here, babies. <laughs> so I've got their shavings in there, I've got their heat lamp, uh, their water, and uh, they should be all good to go now. Now we just wait till they're Ready to start making some eggs. <laughs> Anytime you're gonna have uh, baby chicks of any kind, whether it's chickens, ducks, turkeys, anything like that, you wanna make sure they have access to water. So you wanna make sure you have the right kind of water dish for them. And they sell, um, any feed store, you can get the little disc ones. There's also, there's different kinds you can get. This is the kind that I like. It's the easiest one I think to take care of and refill for them. Um, and then these little feeders that you just open up and pour their feed in. Um, you always wanna make sure too that you've got like a good uh, crumble for them that's um, like a high protein crumble. They'll either label it, you know, chick grower or chick starter. Like there's, every brand calls it something different. I use a broiler crumble, um, which is also a starter. Um, that's the one that I like from the, the brand of food that I use is the King Food and there's no extra stuff in it. I don't do medicated feed, uh, there's no corn or soy, non-GMO, because all that stuff is gonna end up in your eggs later. So I like to keep them nice and clean that way. Um, just some simple, regular pine shavings is what I like to use. I know some people have different things that they like to use. I've had real good luck with natural dirt underneath and pine shavings on top for these little guys. Um, I've done all of my birds that way. I've, I've, everybody that's here pretty much, I have brooded myself. And so they've all been done in the same situation. Um, and it works really well. You just wanna make sure you have a good heat source and you wanna make sure that with your heat lamps, 
uh, which you can also get at the feed store, that it's not near anything that's going to catch fire. You do not want it to be touching, you know, a piece of wood or even something plastic that it's up against that it could potentially melt. A lot of times people that are doing it, like maybe just a couple chickens for their backyard maybe, will put them in a rubber tub. You have to be very careful because sometimes if you're your light dips is going to touch that plastic and melt it because <laughs> um, they they're heat lamps they they're hot <laughs> you'll burn yourself if you touch one um i always like to have a backup light on when they're this little once they're a little bit more feathered out maybe not quite ready to be out here with the big girls but once they've filled out a little bit more i might drop it down to one light um, but i keep this on as a backup so that during the night especially this time of year when you're starting your brooder and you're still having some real cold nights and if you're in somewhere where it's snowing really heavily and you're maybe doing this in a inside of a barn you know you might not be quite as concerned about that but ours is sort of an outdoor brooder here so i do always have a backup light on so if one blows at least they have that other heat source lamp but once they feather out a little bit more i'll drop them down to one lamp as they progress as they start growing i'm going to be moving the heat lamp up until I get to the point where during the day, I keep it off completely. And then they only have it on at night and it'll be raised up higher. But right now, because they're so little, um, I have it down lower on them with the two lights. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications.